It was mostly voiceover work for that role. Some of that was kind of like, Disney's a massive place and you never even quite know for sure where what you're doing fits into their franchise plans and their the puzzle that they're building. But Jared it was like, it will be Jared Leto. He was so comfortable being collaborative because for him, it's not just a voice. Even when we were recording it, he's got the, these teeth in and he's got the hair. He's fully dressed as what physically feels to him like Hatbox Ghost. And he's trying to find of physicality and he's trying to find a complete character that we then sort of animate off of, especially like the facial features. It's not just voiceover, it's motion capture for his face too. But then that is combined with stunt work and CGI and all of these different artists. He was really wonderfully collaborative for that process and I appreciated that very much. And I thought what he did with the character was really interesting and bizarre and delightful and arch, you know, all of those things that you kind of need in a Disney villain. It was kind of a smooth process.